Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My name is Jalal Ahmed, and in this tutorial, we are going to learn that how to open a new J frame with clicking a button. So for that purpose, I will first take a new J frame. I will name it as Personal Info. Let's copy this name, and now I will go to the previous frame. I will take a button. Well, it did. The text is new. I will take the event that is action performed event. Okay. I will paste the name of that J frame and the PI is variable for that equal to new personal info. And after it, I will take the PI and set visible to true. Okay, now I will run the file. Pressing Shift F6 as well, you can run the file. Okay, now I will press new and you can see that is being done. But now I want to close the previous frame while opening the new frame. For that purpose, I will write the function that is close. We have done this close function code. It is a very small code. You can see it on your screen, the video. You can see this video in the playlist in previous videos. But if you want to have a look at the code in this video, I will show it to you. Let's go up. show you the close function it is here okay so that is the code for the close function now let's move towards our code I will now run the file again okay I will click new and you can see a frame opens for a very short time but at the same time both the frames get closed so what is wrong with the code I will show it to you now click this J frame and in here which says default close operation select the last one that says dispose in the new frame do the same dispose and now come here press shift F6 to run the file I will click new and you can see the previous frame is now closed while the new frame is open now what I want to do ahead that is I want to have a button in here which says go back or something like that when I click that button I will open the previous frame and will close this new frame so for that purpose let's move towards the new frame I will take a button I will edit its text as I will set as go back you can double click uh, also you can take the event that is action perform I will have to do the same I will now take the name of this frame this frame that is new J frame write new J frame and equal to new okay in the same way I will set it visible to true again I will use the close function but you will see an error because we do not have the code for this function in here I will go to the previous frame I will copy code from that and will paste it in here click OK and now let's run this file press I mean this file I will press shift F6 to run the file I will click new you can see the previous frame gets closed while the new frame is open now I will click go back and you can see the new frame closes while opening the previous frame now if you want to perform the function of this button 
on a menu item then we will double click it and we'll copy the code from that button copy it and open and also right click it and action performed paste the code in here and now let's run the file I will click new and you can see it is performing the same I will press ctrl n for it pressing ctrl and you can see it is performing the same so that was about this tutorial I hope you guys have learned something new and if you have any question please leave your comment I will try to answer all of your questions if you like my video please hit like button and thank you for now